Greetings from Southeast Asia and from our little tribe out here. We are so grateful for your familyship, your friendship, your partnership to allow us to continue to transform the mission field into the mission force. We are so excited about that idea because we are so convinced that some of the best people to reach, the least reached, the unreached people groups actually live near or among them. And so we've had a front row seat over these last decades to see amazing uh, young men and women, missionaries from the global south, that just means the non-Western world, that God is raising up. And so often they have a very clear call, they have strong, mature character, they have even equipping, but what they often lack is support. They don't have the support of the national church behind them to be able to launch them out. And we see this as a leadership slash mobilization challenge. And so, you know, Romans 10, 13 through 15 says very clearly, how can they hear unless somebody goes to preach, but how can they preach unless they are sent? And so we're interested in not only raising up those who want to go, we see those folks. We actually need more local national senders to be raised up. And we believe that that will release uh, uh, thousands of amazing new missionaries from the Global South to the Global South and beyond. So thank you so much for working with us, partnering with us. This has been such a crazy difficult season, right? A global pandemic that has caused so much disruption, disappointment and loss. Uh, for us, it was very disappointing not to be able to, after two years of serving in Badenbong, Cambodia, not to be able to connect with family, friends, and ministry partners, and to live out of our four carry-on bags uh, with an ever-evolving unknowns of this uh, COVID-19 situation. That was difficult. But in the midst of that, there was a lot to be grateful for. We are so grateful for, in terms of mercy and evangelism, we're so grateful for your generosity to help YOM in Badenbong to help the families that were struggling because of the global pandemic, but also you may know, remember that there was a big flood that happened there and your generosity helped respond to that and, and bring relief to those who have been impacted by those floods. Thank you so much. In terms of training and mentoring, this has been a surprisingly fruitful season for us. Seems like every week there was opportunities for training new missionaries from the Global South and mentoring these, uh, some of these one-on-one, -on -one, some of these missionaries. Now, for example, in a short season just recently, I had the opportunity to teach on missions mobilization to a seminar in Maharashtra, India. So this is in partnership with a local church. They're trying to figure out how can they mobilize Indians uh, to reach cross-culturally in India and beyond. And then I also was able to plan and help host a leadership event with the Asian Leaders Learning Community that uh, leaders from about 30 nations participated in that and were encouraged as they told stories of how God takes ordinary people and does extraordinary things with them, through them. And then a very interesting was uh, opportunity to also teach via WhatsApp, I had never done that before, to a network of over 100 Nigerian pastors and evangelists. So that's just a, an example of some of the things that's been happening. Very uh, fulfilling to see those opportunities. And in the midst of that, we've been able to continue to go forward with our homeschooling and our language learning, learning Kamai every day, every weekday. So that's been great. And uh, on top of that, we were able to launch some schools. I developed and launched a school for as an introduction to missions called God's Heart for the Nations, and this can be content that maybe a discipleship training school could use if they can't get their speakers to come in because of the travel restrictions. Also, I'm working together with YOM Frontier Missions on a program called Next Steps because there are thousands and thousands of young people saying, here am I, send me. But actually, historically, a very small percentage of those actually get launched into the nation. So we've we're developing an e-course with a mentoring network that will keep them walking forward and taking the next step. Also, you probably heard me mention the School of Missions Advocacy. We were able to launch that. I've been working on that for years and together with YWAM Frontier Missions, we launched that and there's presently 100 uh, participants going through that school. And it's also been translated into Portuguese and hope to launch that next year. And also we're working on Spanish. 
And I just want to let you know of one exciting ministry opportunity. There is a German mission organization, very fruitful, effective uh, organization, where one of the key leaders saw this school. I think he was going through it and said, hey, we don't need to reinvent this wheel. We want our leaders to go through this. And so I've been able to uh, create a, a version of that school that they can brand and they can adapt and they can go through and they're running 26 of their leaders through it now and hope to open it up to a wider, uh, many more soon. So again, thank you so much for your partnership. We're so grateful to have had fruitfulness in the midst of this global pandemic. And so we just pray that in this new season, God will continue to bless everything you put your hand to, that everything that you've invested into the kingdom of God, everywhere you're, you are doing that, that it would just be poured back into your life uh, 100 times over. God bless you and thank you.